Anyway, let's get to this indictment here. Let's get to the fact that this impeachment trial is going to be quite something. It's just an inquiry right now, but we need more information. Well, the White House's approach to this has been very interesting, very peculiar, although perhaps just sort of status quo for the Democrats. I mean, don't forget, they sat there with a straight face and they told us that Hunter Biden's laptop was just nothing but a bunch of misinformation, courtesy of the Russians, and brought to us by Rudy Giuliani. Turned out none of that was true, of course. They just wanted you to think that. So I guess they were actually the real source of the misinformation, if you would. In this particular case now, though, Hunter Biden is upset because he feels like he's been violated. His rights have been violated because we now know how much money he was making and how much he didn't pay in taxes. And we also know just exactly what he was doing with that money, right? The $11 million that he apparently got, courtesy of Ukraine, the NBC News has reported. And of course, he actually specifically in his lawsuit here against the IRS mentions this little thing uh, by the whistleblower, specifically Gary Shapley. He doesn't like Joe Ziegler much either, and Joe's been saying some other stuff, but it's this interview in particular that seems to perturb him, as it should. I'm glad the guy has some shame, maybe, maybe not. Here we go. Gary Shapley was a lead IRS supervisory agent in Operation Sportsman, the investigation into Hunter Biden. Shapley said he uncovered conduct that warranted more serious charges. There were personal expenses that were taken as business expenses. Prostitutes, sex club memberships, hotel rooms for purported drug dealers. How much did Hunter Biden owe in taxes? So from 2014 to 2019, it was $2.2 million. Wow. Okay, so that's apparently the part that he says is infringing on his rights. We're not supposed to know that he owed the IRS $2.2 million. We're also not supposed to know what he was doing with his money. That's a violation of his privacy somehow. I mean, you've got to be kidding me. Again, very interesting how this whole thing has evolved and how the White House has, at every opportunity, the Biden Democrats are taking every chance they can to just kill the truth, right? Like it's not allowed. It's not allowed to be talked about. And they're going to come at it from every angle, whether it means actually sending letters to network heads at CNN, at Fox, at Newsmax, everywhere to say, hey, this is this is not factually based. This impeachment inquiry is a fake impeachment inquiry because there's no proof that Joe Biden himself actually got money. I mean, other than the fact that there's a lot of, well, shall we call it circumstantial evidence? You know, if it walks like a duck, quacks like a duck maybe it is a duck i mean we're talking about all that money that was going from rosemont to rosemont seneca from barisma that energy company that natural gas that fossil fuel bad energy company over there in ukraine by the way this was a bad one in more ways than one because it was also extraordinarily corrupt so he's getting all this money from barisma dad dad was a lead irs it. dad didn't even know a darn thing about it apparently right except there is that fd 1023 that little piece of paper that was an interview with a highly trusted, highly confidential human source that worked under the Obama administration and had actually spoken to everybody at Burisma. And the word on the street was, hey, they, they were all involved. They all knew about it. This was quote unquote protection money. Hey everyone, Trish Regan here. If you enjoyed that clip, please do me the favor of subscribing to the channel. Just hit that little subscribe button right over there. Did I do that right? Uh, Not quite, but you know where it is. Subscribe to the channel, hit the bell so that you get the alerts, and I'll see you back on the show.